as it is five red lights as we go green, green, green here at Road Atlanta for the IGP Fund Formula 3 Series at Road Atlanta. Once again, preserving its long history as being one of the best open wheeler racing series in all of sim racing since the early 2000s as they all race cleanly into turn one and two. Be heading down into the braking zone. Catalini under pressure from Marteau. Patricole starting to run away. We see Jerome Lamy dive to the inside. He tries to get past Marteau. Does so successfully. And we head now down towards turn one, two by two. Catalini and Jerome Lamy. Jerome Lamy, Austin, really finding the pace that he didn't have in qualifying. Ford is trying to just uh, mistakes as Lamely is getting swamped as, oh, there's contact up top, big contact, Timu Milikangas and Jerome Lamely making contact, Evan Way and Bartolotta as well, as these guys are still going to add it, swinging down to the inside, Marteau on Catalini, Catalini's on the outside, Marteau's on to the inside, side by side they go, heading into the chicane, Marteau's just barely ahead, he's going to be break breaking as late as he can, gets all the way out to the grass. Thank you, Diago Marteau. Textbook move around the outside. As this is our fight for the lead, Christian Perez versus Samuel Hermer. Damn, Hermer catching Perez on the last few laps as we see and so much this season. He's very much sort of not attended all races, but when he has, he's really stirred up a little bit of something special. He's been magically quick at times he pulls to the inside he's going to try and just simply outbreak Rollinson does that down towards turn 10 and then oh cherry up now in to 18th place what's happened to Marteau he's down in 15th place I think he's come together with uh, Patricolo or Catalini because Marteau was once sort of in third fourth fifth place and now all the way down in 15th and very much getting involved with this glam setter, Jimenez. Battle. He is staying ahead. Does he catch the girl? Oh, he catches a tire. Oh, turn one. Uh, I think he possibly could have. So Sam Hermer, he's in fifth. What has happened to oh, Sam he's Hermer? Gone off. He's cut three. He's gone over the hump at three, went into four, cut across the grass. That's going to be a slowdown penalty for Samuel Hermer and give a big opportunity for our championship leader, Lucas Marouk. And this is at the chicane. There's so many issues right now. As oh, oh. just caught a little bit of the grass, locked up the brakes underneath the Fox factory sign. And oh, oh big crash in the background. Like Glam like, Setter now really setting his sights on defending from Talfa. But Ridgeway getting involved. Robert Ridgeway always up for making a position when others are fighting ahead of him. Does exactly that. And Robert Ridgeway inherits that 19th spot. And now it's, it's Stuart Mill and Zelta Zomer to continue their fight for 23rd at the top of the S. is a little bit of deep by Stuart Mill and gets onto the curves off the exit and stays ahead. And in the background, we got a spinner. This, today has gone absolutely crazy. And I think everybody heading into Road Atlanta kind of knew that because you can sometimes escape look cleanly over these curves to gain that lap time. But if you just play it safe, oh. And I, I feel like some drivers are now switching it over to safe mode, then overly aggressive because we are seeing the hardships of overly aggressive with drivers having more than 20 overtakes so far with Kessler down in 23rd. Robert Ridgeway and Rollinson going side by side in a turn one for 16th place. Victims battle for, for third place here. Sam Hermer's heading to the outside, tries to get past McIntyre Jones, cannot do it. So McIntyre Jones remains in fourth place. Catalini running away, you have to say, from these two squabbling behind. Hermer goes all the way around the outside. Superb move there by Samuel Hermer, really recovering after that spin we saw on the exit of turn 11. Everybody is just getting involved with everybody right here. It's really survival of the fittest. It is like iRacing Battle Royale edition. It's all about who can stay the cleanest and stay out of trouble. And so far, this man on your screen, Christian Perez, has done exactly that. He took the lead at the end of lap one, overtook Sam Hermer, and has just been you know, running off into the sunset ever since. Patrick has a ride on board of Alejandro Leto as he is... 
well, just on their gearbox watching this fight, we got Lee Aberdeen on the outside, Joshua Wilson on the inside. Wilson sends up the inside, gets up a little bit of dust on the entry. When this is one of the rare spots where dipping a wheel into the grass is actually very common. And we usually do not see that mid corner up ahead. We have a fight between Hermer and Catalini side by side into turn one. Samuel Hermer able just to hold down the inside like Catalini just ahead. McIntyre Joe's right behind him, squirming all over the track in front of his teammate. Uh, as the two digital Apex cars are, well, I think just enjoying this fight up ahead of him. And try yeah, this is a very tightly fought position. Lado around the outside, just keeping a, his nose right down towards the inside. And that was a hesitant move by Lee Aberdeen as Cutiago Marteau is back there in the top 10. We got one car coming out of the pit lane as Marteau is now joined the fray with Victor Barris, a four car fight for eighth right now. He immediately popped that thing into reverse while it still had a little bit of momentum left and uh, was able to get it off that beaching and out of the way of other cars. So very heads up driving after an instant. Lee Aberdeen caught a big hump of grass and that allowed Victor Barris to sneak his nose up into 10th place. One of the racing, one of the only racing forces drivers still in the race and, and is having a fairly positive endeavor. Other drivers have not been so lucky. Tell you what, Gabriel though right in that slipstream wants to get that place right back, dive to the inside knows where he needs to go he just set the fastest lap of the race a 13.001 and he's going to have all the draft in the world on this long back straightaway to really make up for it and so the ball is in QT's court to a move down towards the inside and here we go yeah with Targo Marto he's been such a good overtaker this season oh he's clear Wilson He's, I was going to say, Wilson, he's been known to, to be really staunch in his defensive tactics, but had nothing to offer Marteau. Marteau up to sixth place and didn't want to fight Marteau, but feels that he has a more realistic chance of, of keeping Luedo behind him. Marteau already onto the back of McIntyre Jones. I wonder if oh, Will has made a Jones mistake. Wide. He goes wide, caught the curb, got onto the brakes just to stable himself, and he's actually saved himself very muchly, but Marteau... Well, he one bites the dust right there, and he just steps it aside as Mar Marteau is already licking his lips for another fight. Yeah, he, he he's just been avoiding it. Christian Perez at the Astro Racing Team, I think, will add to the list of drivers making a splash in the series on their first appearance. As they're seven and a half seconds ahead of Particolo. Okay. From fourth place is out of this race, and this is what happened to Andrea at Stop Me the for the bottom of the S's. And oh, oh my gosh, exactly the same thing. Flying from one side of the track to the other side and losing a In wheel. This phase of the race, one of the craziest, if not the craziest. Wait, five um, laps. I don't think I can, Austin, if I'm completely honest. 32 out of the 37 gone so far, almost 40 minutes mm. of racing. Well, McIntyre Jones, he'll be a little bit upset that that Luada Wilson battle has died down, at least for the time being, because he's starting to be caught. Actually, Maruk as well, not really finding the pace. So this could very easily become a four-way battle for fifth place with Marteau and Herma scampering up the road, but not too far. And they are actually very close. Two tenths separate Marteau, Marteau trying to get past Herma. Yeah, Marteau and Herbert fighting out for third place. Herbert, a late look down towards the inside, forcing mistake out of Marteau. And now Herbert looking for that switchback move by Q. Tiago Marteau up into third. But Herbert's on that inside line. Herbert looking for redemption in the following corner. And Herbert now retakes third place as they are going side by side, heading into turn one with these two and four laps remaining. Marto in third, but I tell you what, Homer has the slipstream, and Sam Homer is so wise, he knows how to retake these positions, he's going to choose to go the long way around the outside of the first corner, that will give him the inside line for the second, Marto backs out of it, he wants the slipstream, he wants the... No, the not in the most sharp way as Marto defending from Samuel Homer, Homer looking down towards the inside, they go side by side, and now Kim Marteau holding around the outside right here and hold off that inside apex of that chicane that was added in 1998. Yes, he does. Q Tiago Marteau stays in third. Two laps really remaining. 
that's really crucial for Sam Herma. Herma really needs to strike while the iron is hot to get past Marteau. I think Marteau's got a little bit more pace than our pole sitter. And also One last lap for Christian Perez, trying to make it 10 drivers to have a win in one season as Marteau gets an amazing run underneath that Fox Factory bridge to carry it out onto that final lap. But Hermer is right there. Hermer versus Marteau. Who's going to go for that final podium spot between these two powerhouses in this series? Yeah, his dominance is certainly paying off. Christian Perez takes his first victory and adds the 10th different name to the winner's circle this season for the IGB Fun. 403 Series, Pierre Francesco Particolo returns to the podium. And Q Tiago Martel returns to the podium as well ahead of Samuel Herber. He stays ahead of Herber for that third spot. Will McIntyre Jones comes home in fifth. Follow Christian Perez is your race winner with Patricolo in second place with Kutiago Marteau rounding out your top three. Sam Herma in fourth. Will McIntyre Jones fifth. Joshua Wilson in sixth. Luedo seventh. Victor Barris in eighth. Lucas Maruk in ninth. And Philip Lucas rounding out your top ten. The Aberdeen eleventh. Leonard O. Cherry twelfth. Christian Glamsetter thirteenth. Tony Jimenez in fourteenth. Simone Gabriel in fifteenth. Adam Talsma sixteenth. Stu Milne seventeenth with Marcelo Kessler in 18th place, Alan Lee 19th, Nick Carty in 20th, Sultan Zamota 21st, John McKenzie 22nd, Kateri At uh, Atoa in 3rd, Reed Dennis 24th, Matthew Gracie in 25th place, Patrick Rowlands 26th, Killen Richie Robinson 27th, Noel Richie Robinson 28th, Robert Ridgway 29th, Alistair Hay in 30th place, Jeffrey Brewer 31st, Richard Van Veen 32nd, Matt Brewer 33rd, Simone Fessi, the first of your retirements. The other retirements of this race were Catalini, Rollinson, Lamy, Way, Cochram, Westman, Podopenko, Devine, Collins, Spatuto, uh, Imhoff, Milikangas, Flint, and Aaron Smith, along with Aquino, Willems, Baratola, Williams, Perez, Gaietti, and with Rosencrantz and Jeannie not taking the start. Next week, we're going back to, well, the future, aka the past, but uh, that's not a reference I can really make. So, back to the past in 2008, as we go to the legacy Silverstone circuit for the 2008 Historical Grand Prix layout, the, re the return of that famous bridge corner next week here on IGB Fun to end out the season presented by SRP, home of the best sim racing pedals out there over at simracingpro.com. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here on Apex Racing TV. I've been joined by Sebastian Boster Williams and Jamie Fluke in the production booth, who I think all of us here are going to be taking a massive rest because this was certainly wild. I'm Austin Knight, and I hope y'all have a good night. Are you struggling?